In this reaction, we'll use concentrated 15.8 molar nitric acid. And the nitric acid will be excess, so I won't actually measure an exact quantity. We'll just eyeball it. And I'll drop in two brass shells. And you can see the reaction starts immediately with bubbles and the production of a brown gas. This brown gas is actually nitrogen dioxide, although nitric oxide is produced from the reaction the moment it bubbles out of the solution and hits the air, it will convert. Uh, the nitrogen will be oxidized immediately to nitrogen dioxide. You can see the shells down in the solution as more gas is evolving. This whole reaction took about 10 minutes. Um, obviously I didn't film the whole thing and you can see that the brass sample is getting smaller and smaller with less and less uh, gas emitted. It's important to swirl the solution. You can see that swirling the solution will cause a little bit more of the nitrogen dioxide to come out of the solution um, and clearly it, the nitrogen dioxide in solution makes the color a little bit darker so with extra water added more and more of the nitrogen dioxide will be removed. Now we'll bring in a 250 milliliter volumetric flask and transfer quantitatively, meaning transfer all of the solution, into the flask. It's important to rinse the beaker and make sure that all of the copper ions make it into the 250 ml flask, which then will be filled to the line, which is hard to see with the white background. So I'll change that background to the other side of the whiteboard, and you can just barely see it. There, we'll zoom in a little bit. And now finish by filling the water right up to the line as best as possible with an extra drop added in. There, let's take a little bit closer look, and we may need an extra drop or two to complete the 250 milliliters containing all of the copper ions that resulted from the reaction of the brass sample that was weighed.